Hi, today's video regarding Canon Pixima TS6351 all-in-one printer. So I'll show you how to do quick unboxing and how to do a wireless setting connected with the, any device with your home or office Wi-Fi network for wireless printing and scanning and how to do a copy. Let's start with unboxing first. Now switch on your printer so that we can do a quick setup. So press the power button on. Now go to the display screen of your printer. As you can see here, it is showing up language. We need to select the language. So click the language and press the OK button. You can use up and down buttons to select like yes or cancel. And once it is done, we will click on the OK again for the start setup. So once it is clicked, we, you will see this screen. Now press the button down and go to the bottom of the page and press OK again. Now it's saying to install the all the five ink cartridges and open the cover. So to open the cover, we need to push it upwards like this and it will stand itself. So once it is done, uh, we will open the ink cartridges from the packing. So this comes in two packing, one set is of three and one set is of two ink cartridges so two blacks are there and three color are there so how to open the seal so just have to remove the orange tag and now remove this plastic seal also push this orange seal opposite with your hand and that will open the ink now do it for all the ink cartridges and once they are ready we will install them here now to install them you need to push it in and downwards then it will lock there for example here slide it in under the color marking and then push it downwards make sure you actually do it in this color like m will go to the m y will go to the y so you have to match the colors and this ink is 281 so you can buy all these ink cartridges separately and once they are installed we will go to the display screen to check if the installation is done proper and if all the ink cartridges are recognized by the printer or not so go on the display screen now we will see all the ink cartridges are showing up there that means it's done properly now close the top lid take it up and just leave it it will close itself slowly and now go on the display screen again and here click ok as we have finished the installation now we need to do printer alignment so click yes and click ok on that now install the pages on the rear tray or if you want you can install them in the cassette tray as well now rear tray is common as usual like all the printers and it can hold the pages but if you don't want to put it there, so you just want very clean and neat and clean. For that you can place them into the cassette tray. That is at the bottom here in the front. You just have to slide it out. Adjust the size and place the A4 sheets here. Now close the cassette tray. Now the paper output tray is an automatic tray whenever you print or copy it will come out itself or you can take it out with the hand and now go on the display screen and click OK as we are ready to do the alignment 
now confirm that you have loaded the a4 sheets here so click ok again now the printer will take around five six minutes for the printer alignment and it will print couple of pages so you can just wait for five six minutes for the printer to do it work and you don't need to scan these pages so which is uh, one plus once it is done go on the screen and click on next and click ok and we are ready to use the printer so now i'll show you how to do a copy copy is very simple we just simply need to place a page on the top scanner and then we have to click on the start button for that place a page facing downwards on the left hand corner and close the lid now go on the display panel press the green button which is start button and give the final confirmation press ok button now you just have to wait for a few seconds and the printout will come so this way you can do a copy so if you want you can do two side copy as well so you just have to go in the copy setting and change the setting from one side to two side and that will be helpful for the id cards if you are going to print or if you want to save the paper now i'll show you how to do the wireless setup of this printer and how to do the wireless scan and print to connect it with the wi-fi network click ok and look for the wi-fi setup option here click ok again and now go for the manual connect click ok again it will search for the available router select the one you want and just key in the password here now you will see on the screen there are no actually keypad here but you need to use three four digits here these buttons on the panel for example this button will choose if you want a number or a special character or if you want a upper or lower case and this backspace is also available here and once you are done you have to click on the green button again that is to complete the entry and then it will connect to the wi-fi network so once we click on that green button now it is connecting and it might take a few seconds once it is connected we are ready to use the printer for the wireless work as you can see here now to do a wireless scanning or printing we need a device for example a smartphone and you can download the canon print app from the app store here we have to add the printer so just click on the printer at the bottom and you will see the name of the printer available in the next screen and it will add up here once it is added it will show at the bottom of the screen and the printer is available now to do a scanning open the top scanner and place a page facing downwards and uh, you can do multiple scannings uh, with this printer it is capable of that and you you have to do that in the app setting as well so i'll show you that first place a page facing downwards close the lid and once we close the lid go to the app look for the scan option which is, which is at the bottom left corner now you can also select change setting option where you can select jpeg or pdf format if you want a color or if you want a black and then click on the scan button now the printer will take some time it will scan the document and transfer the scan to your app now here you can add more pages or if you want you can just leave it now click on the document section of the app and select a document for the wireless printing now you can select all the pages or if you want you can select a single page as well click on next now these are the few options here and click ok now you will get a lot of options before final confirmation click on change setting and here you can select if you want two-sided printing or if you want uh, color printing or black and how many copies do you want all details are there so once you are done you just send the print command so that's the easiest way to use this printer wirelessly it's a very efficient printer uh, you can use it for wireless print scan and you can do even two-side copy it has a cassette tray at the below and automatic output tray. 
hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching